A vlog. Tommy is about to go give me a tennis lesson. We're back. Mm -hmm. Every off season, Tommy has given me lessons. <laughs> we were doing a lot of lessons. Yeah, it was pretty easy. We had the court in the neighborhood though, you know? That's true. The place easy. Tommy used to live had a tennis court in the gated community. We would go every other day. I feel like because it, it was, was so just, easy. It was so easy and fun. But Tommy doesn't get to teach me a lot of tennis on the road. Although you were traveling with my racket at one point. <laughs> I know. And we didn't use it once. We didn't use it once. Celsius, can I miss it? I love the man that's comment on your picture. Mr. and Mrs. Celsius. <laughs> Anyways, hi. This vlog is going to be my last Florida vlog for actually not that long. I'm going to go home for Christmas to spend it with my family and going home for Christmas on Thursday. I have a meeting with one of my new agents from WME on Thursday, so I'm staying until Thursday and then flying back to Connecticut for Christmas and then I'm flying right back to Florida pretty much after. I have a dentist appointment. I have some furniture being delivered. I ordered um, a lot of antique furniture, which is Tommy's Christmas present. Are you happy that that's your Christmas present? Yeah, absolutely. It's something I'll like use all the time. You know? I know, I just feel like it's so nice to give people gifts and have it be an actual surprise and this is not. We don't really do surprises. We really don't. I hate surprises. Um, I really, really don't like surprises at all. I jack my Celsius. You can have some of my yerba. But I'm really excited to show you guys what I got Tommy. It's kind of what I got myself. Yeah, let's be real here. I mean. I could live it, in my house with nothing but the walls. Yeah. I mean, I got it for Tommy. You do really like old wood rustic furniture. No, it's definitely like my style and really nice stuff. Yeah. Tommy and I both architecturally, I feel like like house in Florida is not our style, but I feel like we're making it our style through the furniture. Like I love the house. I love the house, but it's not like, like we like a little bit more less modern, okay. Um, but luckily it's just, it's a modern house, but it's really like just huge windows, floor to ceiling massive windows all around the house in a tropical place that's really nice and I feel like it is just pretty. I'm really excited to get this antique furniture and I'll show you guys. It's a huge wooden farm style table from France. And then I got a big dresser that I think is also from France. I don't know where the chairs are from. I think she might have said Norway. So it's getting here next Thursday. So I'm coming back to Florida but I'm gonna go home for Christmas. So I'll probably do a Christmas vlog at home. I'm gonna vlog Christmas and then I'll be back in Florida and then I'm heading to LA. I will tell you guys a little bit more about my schedule because it kind of starts to get crazy in January but long story short I'm going to LA which I will tell you guys about why I'm going to LA and then I'm going to Whistler for a ski trip with a brand and then I'm going back to LA and then flying to Australia for the Australian Open. So a fun, exciting winter. I'm happy to be going on the ski trip so I get some snow in, because it's gonna be a lot of sun. But anyways, we are here at the Boca Raton Hotel. It's just called the Boca Raton, but it's a club, a club and a hotel. And we're gonna play some tennis and then go home and cook dinner. Will you call this a hotel or a club? It's a resort or like, yeah, a club. Because you have to be a member. Yeah. Okay guys, for all my rackets. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. <laughs> Samaritan. 
Tommy said that he used to be the tennis maintenance guy. <laughs> Tommy and I finished our tennis lesson. It was really, really good. I definitely feel like I've improved a lot. I just need to play more. That's really all it is for me. Anyways, I'm just running quickly to the market as I do. I feel like in all of these vlogs just to get some stuff to make dinner. start editing this vlog check my email record a voiceover and then go to bed Jeez. <laughs> I'm ready for bed right now you should go check them out in the morning say good night good night on days that I'm not going to be wearing a lot of makeup. I've been really loving this Patrick Ta soap brow stuff. It is the shaping wax. Okay, just feel like I need some color. I'm going to do the Benetint. Although I'm actually about to go to a lip blushing appointment. I'm really excited for this appointment. I got it done while I was in LA and I absolutely loved it. You're supposed to get it done like the first time and then go back in a few months later and then I never did and then it faded. And to be honest guys, I would recommend getting lip blush done before you get lip filler, depending on the case. I definitely felt like I needed lip filler and I feel like lip filler has kind of like changed my face in, in a good way. I have a very small face, like a very small face and very small features besides my eyes. So I feel like having bigger lips has just made me feel a lot more confident. But if you have any sort of medium full lip, a lip blush is a great option. Because for example, guys, when I have lip products on, like a lot of people ask me sometimes when I really overline my lips, if I've gotten my lips done again. I haven't got my lips done in so long. But when they have products in them, they look so much, sorry, I'm like holding my underwear. They look so much fuller. But anyways, I thought I would bring you guys to this appointment because I would be interested in this. There's a saying that's like, be high maintenance to be low maintenance, that's kind of that's kind of the vibe. So I've debated in the past three-ish months on dissolving my lip filler. I actually don't not like my lip filler. I have Russian style lip filler. Definitely gotten better as my lip filler has dissolved, but I'm like, okay, is that a sign? As my lip filler is dissolving, I'm looking less crazy. I'm debating on getting my teeth fixed, dissolving my lip filler, and getting lip blush. 
Guys, does that mean I'm growing up? Not really. It's like exchanging something fake for something else fake. Getting rid of my fake lips and acquiring fake teeth. My bottom teeth, guys, are crazy. Like, I have really, really crooked bottom teeth. My mom says it gives me character, but... Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go get this lip blushing done and then we'll figure out everything else. Okay guys, so this is what it's gonna look like right now and then it's kind of gonna fade into this pinkier shade. This is really helpful that you do this. What's the thing called, the word that you use for around the lips? Um, oh, the vermilion border? Yeah. So the vermilion border, you'll see when most you'll see like these little lines that go like downwards. Mm -hmm. That's your lip tissue. Anywhere that you see a dot or a pore or a hair, that's Skin. facial tissue. Okay. So you don't want you don't want to or have anyone tattoo your skin on facial tissue. Yeah. That's just a hard no. Hard no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, so we're gonna do the what's it called? The shape. The shape. The shape now. I want it to be best. I've been trained by. Yeah, you're so right. She's saying that my lips are flatter on this side because I sleep on this side. Now I can see it because it's outlined. <laughs> it looks like, like a little... Oh my gosh, it's like dissolved on this side and not... <laughs> Do I need to fix that? You okay. won't even notice it when we're done. I mean, this is like a secret now. <laughs> Shh. Well, I just told all my oh. subscribers. <laughs> it's okay. That's like the perfect Shape. lining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, you're not going to see the lining really going to be invisible. Right, right, right. But it's, you but it's a nice see. shape. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The shape is beautiful. Great. I'm going to edit this. Yeah. Thank God. Don't worry. <laughs> Hairline thin. Okay, I am home. Here are my lips. They kind of feel like sunburnt. They're also kind of swollen. So there are actually like five stages of lip blush. So the first day color, and then tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, they'll be like pretty dark. And they get like oxidized, and then that sort of like flakes off, and then like your natural color starts to set in. And then I think after like a few weeks, it's like that's the natural color, but I'm really happy with it. Even though this is not like the color that it's gonna be, it's always like darker. I can't even move my face right now. I love when people now comment mean shit on Instagram, the feature that's um, blocked this person in every account that they could have possibly made is so epic. I don't get like any hate comments on my Instagram anymore because I've blocked all of these people and they like literally cannot see my account no matter what they do. They would literally have to go buy a new phone to watch my Instagram content or log in on like Safari on their iPhone to like view my content. Keep it coming so I can block you. Um, but yeah, someone just commented something on my Instagram post that I posted today. Just that I like over edit all my photos, uh, which is an insult that doesn't hurt my feelings anymore um, because I know what I look like in person. I post so many videos. I obviously edit some of my photos. Let's be fucking for real. Like I obviously edit some of my photos. A lot of the editing that I do is more like aesthetic reasons not to like change and morph my body and my face, which I cannot say that I always did. Like I definitely, um, when I had gained weight, I was editing my body a fuck ton, even my face. Um, but I'm definitely like at a weight and like my hair finally looks good. I'm feeling like I'm finally taking care of myself and like not frying my hair off and like, you know, whatever. I thought you were on the phone. Where were you? I was you? a job on you. Where were you? Uh, I was teaching Dylan how to ride the dirt bike. Nice. I'm gonna give you options for dinner. Mm. One of them requires a lot more work. From me? No, none of them ever require work from you. Mm. Tell me. Okay, onion chicken that's roasted in the oven or this reverse seared rib, ribeye. Is it the ribeye? What is it? Racks. Reverse seared, no, it's not a rack. 
reverse seared, I'm forgetting the cut of meat. It's like a massive chunk of meat. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I love meat. He picked the one that was harder. All right, we're gonna do the other one. No, I, that's the one I was in the mood for too, kind of. But we got all this chicken, and I'm not gonna cook the chicken when you eat. I'll cook that thing when you eat. You're not gonna, babe. It's a, it requires oven time. I'm gonna have Seba over, and he's gonna cook it 100%. Seba's a master on the grill. But we can also do chicken. Or, like Seba can also do chicken. Here, how about we do rock, paper, scissors if I win? Do we do the meat, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot? shoot. Uh. <laughs> okay, I don't even want chicken. Ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> so deep in my dome. I don't want chicken. <laughs> okay, we're going. <laughs> this is deep. Yeah, we're gonna. Babe, we made none of the things that we were rock, paper, scissoring on. <laughs> it's so true. I ended up making udon noodles. <laughs> Good morning vlog. I would have filmed myself getting ready this morning, but I thought I was running really late. And now it looks like I'm like 30 minutes early, which is a good thing. I'm going to a meeting with one of my agents at WME, which is awesome. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my bun. One second, Liv is calling me. Hey. So lip blush update. My lips are like still a little bit swollen, as you can probably tell. Um, not crazy at all. It kind of just feels like they're sunburnt. Um, and I definitely woke up and they were darker today, which was expected. And that's the update with that. I am heading home tonight for Christmas. So I'm taking a flight tonight after I get all my work done. So I'm gonna have a little weekend at home before Christmas. This tastes like soap. That's good. Bink sent me one of their minis. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna run to this meeting now and then I will catch you guys after my meeting. Okay, my lunch and meeting went great. And now I'm just running to Starbucks really quickly. Hi, welcome to Starbucks, how are you? Hi, I'm well, how are you? Good, what can I do for you? Can I please get a small green tea lemonade sweetened? Okay. And then can I please get a English breakfast tea with regular milk um, sweetened, please? Okay. And that's all. Do you want, um, do you want the milk and the tea to be steamed? No thanks, cold milk is good. Okay, perfect. It'll be 845, I'll see you up here. Thank you. I just love the girls at WME and my team. Really grateful for them and for this like new opportunity for me. We talked about so much cool, good stuff. And yeah, it's just really, really exciting. Now I'm gonna head home. I have a few work-related things to do and then I need to start packing. My flight's at like 6.30 tonight. Hi. Hi. It's 8.45 for you. Oh. Have a good one. You too. Guys, look at how little this is. I'm really excited. I'm doing a like little tennis campaign with a brand that I like am obsessed with. And the package just got here. Can you guess by the bag? And I'm definitely gonna be filming it in Florida. So I need to figure out when I'm gonna do that. I'll probably do it when I come back um, after Christmas. I guess I could shoot it today, but I don't wanna be in a rush. But they also sent me these on cloud sneakers um, for the brand deal. And I've actually never owned a pair of on cloud sneakers. I'm excited. These are called the Roger Clubhouse. I'm guessing. I wonder if they're tennis shoes. Ooh. I don't think these are tennis shoes, but I need to ask Tommy. Babe, can you come look and tell me if these are tennis sneakers? They're called the Roger Clubhouse. They're not. They're not? They're like, they're like uh, casual shoes. I mean, you, you could, but like they're, they're not tennis shoes. It's kind of crazy they would name the Roger Clubhouse and not be a tennis sneaker. Yeah. Because it came with my tennis stuff that I had to shoot. Like that, you can't have that in a tennis shoe. No, it's just flat. The, the, the only difference in a tennis shoe is like the bottom, the sole of the shoe. And it's always usually flat. Yeah, actually, it's pretty surprising. It's pretty hard under here. I felt you stretchy. All right, that looks great to me. But I, I need pants and shorts. Oh, I just updated the spreadsheet if you saw. Oh, he's heavy, heavy number. I just opened this PR package from Rayos. And they sent. Slippers and a robe. Babe, you have to put this robe on. <laughs> 